The Secret of the Afterlife You will see the secrets of the afterlife that no one has ever been to. What happens when a person dies? Is there an afterlife? Are there hells, heavens, and ghosts? So far, no one has given a definite answer to these questions. Because no one has ever seen it. From now on, I'll ask the two great monks, Gwang Myung Mamduk and Zhao Jaman Hyun, who have attained Buddhahood in Korea, to answer. This is a brief summary of the 21st century Buddha's message written by two great monks, Gwang Myung Mamduk and Zhao Jaman Hyun. This book is a record of what the two great monks saw in the Deep Samadhi. The book vividly depicts the world after death, the world of hell, ghosts, heaven, bodhisattva, Buddha, and so on. What happens when those who have lived a virtuous life dies? Is there really a heaven? What does heaven look like? Those who have lived a virtuous life are born as a human, a sura, and heavenly world. This is called the three good destinies of pleasures. The human world is a place where we are punished and blessed. Those who had lived a life of a lot of donations and kindness are blessed in this life. People who had stolen a lot are born poor. People who had killed a lot of life have a short lifespan. There is also the Asura world. It is a separate heaven of first heavenly world lowered grade. In the past life, those who lived a good life but got angry a lot goes there. They are rich, but they fight a lot. Sometimes they fight hard and get seriously injured. But they do not die. Because the spirit body cannot die. Heaven is where very good people go. In heaven, there is the world of heaven and the heaven of holy multitudes. Heaven has all kinds of beautiful flowers and houses. And there is a clean, comfortable life. No disease, no pain. The heaven is divided into six heaven, and further subdivided into 54 classes. In other words, there are 54 grades in heaven. The higher the heaven, the longer lifespan lasts, and the more happy and joyful. Eating and wearing are done as they think. But when the lifespan of heaven ends, they are born in human beings. In other words, the heavenly world is not the realm of liberation which is freed from transmigration. Is there another world out of transmigration above the heaven of holy multitudes? What does it look like and who goes there? There is a realm of liberation above the heaven of holy multitudes. The realm of liberation is the world saints go and enjoy permanent bliss. There is the world of Arahan, Bodhisattva, and the absolute realm in selflessness. When they reach the state of Arahan, their hearts become masters. They are not drawn to greed and an angry heart. They don't do bad work anymore. Because my attachment to this body has gone. Whenever and wherever the mind becomes the master. So there is no more greed and attachment. Arahang can live happily ever after without being in the human world unless he wants to. It is a world of light full of peace and joy. But Arahang is born as a human being to be bodhisattva. However, in the human world, evil spirits are spread like a net, so if they make a mistake, they may fall into the lower world. They may fall to hell or the animal world or go to heaven. If they meet a big teacher or an assembly with Buddha and study the Buddha well and do a lot of good things, they will be bodhisattva. Then they completely are freed from transmigration. It is the purpose of all Buddhists to escape from the sufferings of transmigration and proceed to the realm of liberation. The purpose of practice in Buddhism is also the same. Bodhisattva is born in the Paradise Pure Land. The Paradise Pure Land has deep and deep tranquility, soft and clean. You'll be soaked in infinite joy, true pleasures that are incomparable with heaven. There is a subtle scent, fresh air, mild climate, nectar like water taste and cool and clean that you can't feel in heaven. It is a world of light hundreds of times brighter than heaven. Trees, pavilions, and ponds appear to be made of gold and silver due to the brightness of the paradise pure land. The only bodhisattva lives there. In the body of bodhisattva, the light of the body shines. The beautiful light from the flowers makes it spectacular. Bodhisattva is born as a human being in order to become a Buddha. 
if he practices wisdom and blessed virtues during tens of millions of lives, he will be able to see the immeasurable light, namely light of the Buddha when he gets to a certain stage. And then finally, he becomes a Buddha. A Buddha is totally combined into the emptiness that is the original nature of the universe. A Buddha becomes one with the universe, that is to be the lord of the universe. A Buddha does not become extinct through all eternity. A Buddha abides in true suchness in the absolute realm, in selflessness. A Buddha has the three forms of the bodies, the Dharma body Buddha, the reward body Buddha, and the transformation body Buddha. As the Buddha has completed wisdom and blessed virtues through practice over a billion years and has completely become one with the original body of the universe, he can make the most of all limitless power, love, wisdom, substance, and information that emptiness which is the original Bodhi of the universe has. Therefore, we have to understand the ability of the Buddha as being limitless. There is almost nothing that is impossible for the Buddha. The Buddha possesses the ability to save human beings. If one does not receive all karmic retribution, a karmic hindrance that has been implanted in one's spiritual bodies will never be annihilated except for the elimination of karmic hindrance by virtue of the empowerment of the Buddha only. This is the salvation power that only the Buddha possesses. This is the unique and rare ability of the Buddha that can save human beings. No other leader of any other religion, no enlightenment-seeking practitioner, nor superhuman possesses this ability. This it is said that only Buddhism is the real religion of salvation. As the Buddha who possesses this ability abides in true suchness in the absolute realm in selflessness, real salvation is possible. This is an overview of the realm of heavens, holy multitudes, liberation, paradise, pure land, and the absolute realm and selflessness of Buddha. In the next video, we will have a closer look at each world. Thank you for watching it. I would appreciate it if you like it and subscribe.